Hey guys, welcome back to Distance Learning. This is going to be week nine, day one. Since this is the final week of distance learning, we are going to do a project of Cornerstone uh, on toward the end of this week. Uh, but since this is going to be day one, I'm not going to tell you too much about it today. You'll have to tune in later on to see how that's going to turn out. Um, also, because of the fact that uh, this day one is going to be a little long or would have been long. I've broken the video up into several parts that you can access through the same YouTube channel that you've been accessing all the videos through uh, for the past few weeks. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the directions. Then I'll kind of stop and make sure we all understand what we're doing. And then finally, um, we'll begin doing our questions um, for this week. All right, so let's go ahead and let's begin. Day one, ask questions. Objective. This week you will identify a problem that can be solved by designing a gadget using what you have come to understand about magnetism and electricity. This is referencing the project that we're going to complete at the end of the week. You don't have to worry about this too much yet. Today you will begin to reread informational text in order to start your research on your narrative writing topic. Um, so here, it really is just telling us that we're going to be rereading text that we have read before, hence rereading, <laughs> a little redundant on my part, I apologize. Um, we're going to be reading text that we have read before, and we're going to be doing that so we can gather information uh, for our project toward the end of the week, okay? You will access your prior knowledge in order to capture what you already know about magnetism and electricity. Ask questions that help you reread and annotate your text with purpose. Uh, here, just saying that we're going to, again, read text over again and gather information, and we'll read and annotate the text as we go along. Okay. Directions for activity one, or say day one. Jot down information that shows what you already know about how electricity and magnets improve the lives of people. Use the five W's and H to ask clarifying questions in support of your research process. Asking questions can support you in your understanding of the topic. Let's stop here for one second. So here, um, it is asking us to basically create questions using the five W's, which is a who, what, when, where, why, and H being how. Uh, that is, that's going to help us to support with our understanding of this topic. It also asks us to write down anything that we already know about electricity and magnetism, which should be quite a lot at this point. Let's keep going. Read text from week four and five. Remember to annotate them for answers to your questions. And we'll see that as we're coming down. It kind of gives us a list of a few of the texts, but there's actually a few more. The texts that we're gonna read this week are the, elect the attractive uh, truth about magnets, magnetism, magnets, types and uses, electricity and magnetism, electronics may confuse a bird's compass, and magnetic fields and the magnetic compass, okay? Um, five texts in total. Um, what I've done to avoid making this video too long is I've recorded each one of these texts as a separate video. And you can find all of the videos for all these texts on the YouTube channel. But if you don't feel like doing all of that, all these texts are inside your packet, guys. I just did this as an extra support for you. It'll be probably much easier for you to just read the text inside the packet, okay? Uh, I'm just letting you know that's the reason why this video will be a little shorter, and you'll see those videos on the YouTube channel, okay? Let's keep going. All right, so activity one, exploring my prior knowledge. All this is asking us to do is write down anything and everything that we already know about how electricity and magnets improve the lives of people. So I have some examples here, uh, but feel free to add more, and I really do encourage you to push further and add more than just the two examples that I've written down. Uh, my first example is that electricity powers devices we use every day, such as computers and tablets. Uh, like I said, this can be expanded with this, uh, with this first statement. You could even go on to say it powers Things like DVD players, things like phones, etc. Think about what else in your home might be powered by electricity. 
Uh, my second example is that magnets are used in our homes to close cabinets and refrigerators. Again, this can be taken much further. Think about what else you might use magnets for inside your home. And uh, even beyond these two examples, you can take it further even more, uh, explaining how else we might use electricity and magnets, uh, maybe in cars, maybe in other forms of transportation that we explored earlier uh, in earlier weeks, and any other way that you think about how we use uh, uh, magnets and electricity. Okay, so I want to give you an opportunity to go ahead and write some more examples about uh, how electricity and magnets improve our lives. I'm going to give you about you know 10, 15 seconds like I usually do. Just go ahead and pause the video if I'm moving too quickly, and then resume the video once you're done writing. Okay, guys, I hope you had lots of examples. Let's look at the next portion of our task for today. It is asking questions like we discussed. So it says, what do I want to know about how electricity and magnets improve the lives of people? I've given you some examples, like I usually do, but I always want to encourage you to ask your own questions as well. So feel free to use my examples if you like. Feel free to, to add more. Maybe you want to do more than four questions. That's perfectly okay. Uh, but either way, we got to have these four boxes filled, okay? So for my Q1, I ask, how do electronics help people in their homes? We're not going to answer this question yet. We're just asking. So that's what I have for my Q1. You can write what I have for my Q1, or you can write your own question, but make sure you have something in your Q1 box. For my Q2, I have, how does electromagnetism help people travel? Again, we're not answering this question. I know you may already know, and that's great if you do. But we're just asking this question. We're going to come back and answer the question on day two. Let's come back to Q3 now. How does electromagnetism help us to light our homes? And finally, my Q4 is, how can electromagnetism help us to find our way if we are lost. So those are my four questions. Feel free to use them. Also feel free to have more questions than just four using your own curiosity for, to form your own questions. Um, either way is fine as long as we have the, these boxes filled. This is actually going to be the end of day one. Um, in order to answer these questions, I would like for you to read the text in the packet in order. As I already said, I've created separate videos for each story uh, inside of the packet. That way, if you wanted to hear someone read it to you, you can. Um, but either way, these texts are what we're going to use uh, to answer the questions that we've just asked here. Okay, And we're going to come back and answer these questions on day two. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you for day two. You guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.